Welcome back. This final segment of the Sports Source is brought to you by Dryer Lint Busters. Folks, the vent in your dryer, and I didn't realize this until talking to these guys, the vent in your dryer to the outside of your house is supposed to be cleaned every year. Once a year, it's supposed to be cleaned. Dryer Lint Busters will do it for you. It takes about an hour. It's just $99 once a year. What it does is it cuts down on fire hazard. It saves you money on your electric bill. It gets your dryer running like new. If you're tired of having to put the towels through for a third run, Dryer Lint Buster is the guy who can come in and make it run like it did when you first bought it. I've heard nothing but tremendous rave reviews from everyone who's tried these guys. We had several on the show who've used them. DryerLintBusters.com to learn more. Check them out. I guarantee you'll be happy you did. All right. Several media outlets put out their must-watch football games for the 2022 football season this past week. You know, we've got the, it's like after the bowls, all the riders do, the national riders do their uh, way too early top 25. <laughs> and I guess this week has now become the must-watch games. Of 20, you know, I don't know what next week is, but everybody does the <laughs> same stuff. Um, nobody had Tennessee listed in any games as a must-watch. So I'm going to ask you guys, of Tennessee's schedule next year, what's the must-watch game for each, each of you? What's the must-watch Florida. Tennessee? Florida, 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 Florida. Because yeah. that's... It, I don't think you're ready to compete with Alabama or Georgia, LSU, a lot of question marks right there. But if you can beat Florida, you in got them in the rankings this year, but can you finally beat them? So Florida. Florida's my answer too. at home, first year coach for them. Uh, it's always a huge game and it, it's, it's one of the, the big schools on your list, Georgia and Alabama every year, but you don't feel like you're there yet. Florida, you should be in fans no. minds because of their first year coach. So massive game at home. Mm. I had Florida, too, because they tweeted me earlier and said that's what they're going to do. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's Florida because this is like the, what, the 13th time since 2007. This is the year. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. So, for the 13th. So, I, because of that, because of the new coach, because I do think the anticipation is Tennessee can finally get over the hump against the Gators. I, I'm going to say Florida. Yeah, and that's what I had down, of course, and that will be in Knoxville, too. Uh, but I, I'll move on down uh, a couple of weeks. How about Tennessee and LSU? I think that could be a really good game. LSU is going through some, some changes of their own. Their, their coach is going to be the former Notre Dame guy, Brian Kelly. I think that's much. And something weird always seems to happen there, doesn't it? You know, yeah, it, Tennessee LSU gets weird in any sport. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. It does. There's usually so. booze involved, <laughs> especially when you're down there in Baton Rouge. Well, well that, rules, that rules me yeah. out there. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I'll go. And this is just pure viewership. This is just the viewer angle. I'll go the pit game. Some of it goes your first big game of the year. Uh, it's going to give you a, a, good, a good idea of what's to come. Might give you a hint as to Florida. But also, I've never seen Tennessee play at Pitt. I've never seen them play at Heinz Field. So to me, just the, the eyeball test makes that a little bit more interesting. Um, how far is Tennessee at this point? Are they, let's say you had another good year this year. How far is Tennessee back from being a team that is must watch on somebody's national list. Is it a year away, two years away from being up there where, where America once again starts saying, yeah, I kind of like to watch this Tennessee game. If you, it, it if, you win eight game, if you win eight games this year and you do it in the entertaining offensive fashion that you did, yes. I think you're closer. You know, you don't have to get the 10 wins for somebody to say it. I think if you just keep winning on the way you're playing, Due to the that style. will get you there. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a good point. I agree. Uh, and didn't the Music City sexier. Bowl ratings kind of reflect that, John? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. How, how, I mean, I think you're closer to it than what people may realize. I think yeah, it also, that part of that's the system, but there was also a four and a half hour game that right. was 85 yeah. 80 in overtime. And so. people clicking over yeah. and getting text to click over. They're getting text yeah. to click over. All right. Chuck, Jimmy, Josh, Bob, thanks to all of you for being here. Thanks to our sponsors. Before we go, uh, I wanted to close out by uh, mentioning someone um, who most of us on this show knew. Uh, I had fallen out of touch with Tom Schwartz uh, during the, the COVID pandemic, and I will always have to live with that regret because uh, Tommy the Book, as we called him, uh, he, he passed away not, not long ago. He was a big character. Uh, like right out of the Sopranos, big character, uh, had big stories, uh, big heart, and uh, he had a pretty good system for picking NFL games, too. Uh, he also had so much love for his wife, Patrice, who I know is watching today. Uh, as I say, Tom passed recently, and I just wanted to mention him today. So, Tommy, Big Tom, Tommy the Book, Tom Dooley, whatever they called you, buddy, uh, I'll miss you.
and I know some of the guys here on this show are going to miss you. Uh, so we'll see everybody back here next Sunday for the Sports Source. Thank you. Have a good, safe week.